Another thing missing from most of our variants of curly is a conditional form, like if. Uh, is that something we can encode, or does it have to be built in? Let's take a look. Uh, if plays a couple of roles. It uh, selects between then and else based on the value of test. Uh, and also it delays the evaluation of then or else. It only evaluates one of them based on which one it picked from test. Now the delaying aspect we can get by using lambda. We could have uh, something like an if function that takes test and two lambdas and it only calls whichever of these lambdas it should based on the test. And I've called this if star because it's not if. We have to actually call the result on some dummy argument like zero to force then and else to be evaluated. So I'm imagining I picked a D that's not otherwise used. The only role of this D is to delay the evaluation, and the only role of zero is to force that evaluation to happen. So that was half of what if does. The other half of what if does is to use this value somehow to select between those two expressions. And the key to encoding that is to pick the right kind of value to represent true and false. We're going to represent true and false this way. So we're not going to build some booleans into our language. We're just going to use true as a shorthand for this function. This function takes an x and then it takes a y, effectively taking two arguments, and returns the first one. And this one that we're using for false takes an x and then a y, and it returns the second one. If we pick these encodings for true and false, uh, then we can write a conditional like this. We take the, the result of the, the test expression, that is, it's going to be a boolean, true or false, and pass it the two lambdas. If test produces true, it'll pick this lambda and return it. And if test produces false, it'll produce this lambda. Either way, we get a lambda that wants a dummy argument d, we give it a zero, and then we select then or else out of it. So this is a pretty um, pretty opaque encoding of conditionals. It doesn't look like what you think of as conditionals, but we could use this encoding if we wanted to as an alternative to building true and false and if into our curly language. I'll note also that there's no way to tell the difference between a boolean and just a procedure in this language. Um, we're using this encoding, it's a lot like using 0 and 1 in C to represent booleans. Those are also just numbers and it depends on how you use them. Uh, but we can think of true and false as abbreviations as long as we use them as booleans, they'll make sense as booleans and we can use them as this pattern to do a conditional.